Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today I'm going to have a quick rundown of some of my favourite uh, horror books and books pertaining to horror cinema. And first off, I'm going to start off with uh, Clive Barker's A to C of Horror. This is based on a BBC series that was running in the 90s, I think. And it's basically uh, Clive Barker going over what he thinks is the best parts of horror cinema from vintage kind of hammer horror movies to modern slashers and things, things of that nature and it's great it compiles a very concise list of what he thinks is is the best vampire movies zombie movies uh, alien movies and uh, he also looks over things like the grand garganal and other parts of like theater different forms of theater early horror and how it's affected cinema and things even like uh Asian body horror, how that's had a big part on cinema and yeah you, you do get a very nice concise compilation of stuff from Barker and it's it's well worth to read. Next up we have John Landis's Monsters in the Movies. Uh, John Landis gives an overview on what he feels are the best parts of uh, creature cinema and he goes from like the classic uh, creature features to the likes of uh, things like death and zombies and possession to uh, even stop motion uh, CG aliens he's a, he's a big fan of alien stuff and it's 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 just cool because he gives his own little kind of uh, two cents on why these work in cinema and why they don't work he is very critical of some other parts of the cinema uh, in in the horror genre and. He goes over it with a fine tooth comb, and if you're a fan of John Landis, this is definitely this is definitely a book well worth checking out. Next up, we have film posters, the horror edition. Um, there was a sci-fi edition of this, and I think an opera edition of this. I got the horror one because I love the fact that this includes posters from other parts of the world. There's a poster from the Yeoman there, and it's uh, where is that from? Uh, I think it's a Swedish poster for the yeoman. Uh, you have uh, basically Young Frankenstein, Hungarian poster for Young Frankenstein. Uh, what else? Yeah, but the Stella posters, these are really cool because it just shows so many really vivid, nicely coloured uh, posters. Hills of Eyes, Last House on the Left. Uh, the Island of Dr. Moreau and yeah it's just it's a really nice book and like it, again just that's the Hungarian poster for Alien I just love seeing what the posters were like in other countries and uh, yeah the Polish the Polish poster for Gremlins I love that one so yeah if you're a fan of horror and you want to see some really cool interesting posters uh, this book is definitely one to check out. Next up we have The Hammer Story. This is the complete history of Hammer. And uh, I think CP was interested in this book. And he was asking me about it. And this is what kind of prompted me to do this video. But uh, yeah, it's really nice. It has synopsises of the different ha Hammer horror movies. With, with coloured photos and black and white photos. And stills. And there's a great introduction by Christopher Lee, the late Christopher Lee. There's also they also talk about other things like uh, the Hammer swashbuckling kind of movies or the Hammer comedies they even done on the buses. And yeah, it's just it's a really nice, really really kind of well put together book. And it also shows how how kind of like the 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 twilight of uh, Hammer horror came about and stuff. So if if you're a Hammer horror fan. This is another must and it's got contributions from the likes of Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese. So yeah, check it out. Next up, uh, Clive Barker's Nightbreed, the making of the film. Uh, this is interesting because it not only has the original shooting script and ideas from the theatrical version, but it also has stuff from the Cabal edition. If you're, if you're a fan of Nightbreed, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, a cool book. Got lots of concept art and it has uh, just the script. Got a lot of the script and shooting script there. 
set photos and visual effect photos and really nice contribution from Clive Barker showing how the movie was made and just again that concept art is is pretty sweet. I got this recently and I found it in a trip run and uh, it's pretty cool. Again I highly recommend this if you are a Clive Barker fan or a fan of uh, Nightbreed because again it goes over not only the regular shooting script but also the Cabal edition. This might be harder to find because it does look like a um, an old book but uh, definitely definitely see if you can find it maybe on eBay. Next up we have Book of the Dead. This is this is a compilation of every zombie movie ever and the origins of uh, zombie cinema not only from George A. Romero but the kind of the old school almost uh, universal S car movies with kind of the evil scientists uh, brainwashing and turning the Caribbean natives into slaves but it also goes over kind of like uh, the Peter Jackson Peter Jackson zombie movies and they've got some cool posters there as well they've the likes of that one and even the cover I think is from City of the Dead and just I love these coloured photos I mean <laughs> look, at, look at that that's, that's fucking awesome uh, this one can still be got online. I think I got it in the book depository, and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool book. Uh, it is written and compiled by Jamie Russell, so if you get a chance, definitely check it out. Uh, really cool, really concise book, and uh, yeah, a must for any zombie fan. And lastly, I have the BFI, BFI companion to horror. The BFI is the British Film Institute. Uh, Book of Horror, and it's edited by Kim Newman. If you if you're into your horror and cult movies, you know who Kim Newman is. He is a very, very thespian-esque individual who loves his cult and horror movies. And I think he's actually currently writing an Anno Dracula comic. Uh, if you're interested, it's about if Dracula took over uh, the uh, British Empire in the time of Queen Victoria. But uh, yeah, he does a fantastic compilation of what he thinks are the best horror movies and why the British Film Institute uh, rated them as the best and you have contributions from other people as well he not only goes over um, uh, film but he also goes over certain parts of literature and how they've affected it he, he goes over like authors like Robert Block and such forth and how they have contributed to uh, mainstream horror cinema and it, it's it's a cool book it, it goes from like it's about a hundred years worth of cinema. It goes from, uh, I think, uh, maybe 1918 to 1988. So uh, definitely, definitely want to check out. Really good book. So that has been my horror kind of book collection. If you guys have any questions or queries about the books, leave them in the comments below. My name's Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.